The Israeli representative at Eurovision 2014, and it is... May Feingold. Yeah, nice to meet you, May. Nice to meet you. Your song is called Same Heart, and you're going in uh, semi-final number two in second place. And you've just had your second rehearsal on the big yeah. stage. A how lot of twos. How are you feeling <laughs> right now? I'm feeling very good. I feel very confident. We had a good rehearsal. Uh, there's not many changes to do, and the energies are high, and everyone is so smiling and happy. So I'm doing perfect. How have you uh, found your stay in Copenhagen so far? You've been enjoying it. Perfect. Hard work too, I guess. It's hard work, though I love hard work. I live for hard work. Um, it's not boring. <laughs> uh, and I'm very happy. The people are so warm and welcoming. The flight was amazing and the hotel is amazing. I really have nothing to complain about. I'm very blessed. <laughs> Just give us a little walkthrough because we spend a lot of time in the press centre, we see you on stage and of course we see you to chat to, but what we don't see is what happens after you arrive on the bus, what happens to you backstage, you know, makeup and all that. I, what, what's since the, move? the moment I got here, I was working, I got here in the morning, I went to hair and makeup, uh, we did some uh, tests with the sound. And uh, I put on my costume and uh, my, my outfit, not my costume. <laughs> and uh, I went on stage <laughs> and sang. Yeah. Yes. But and do sang that too, yeah. and sweat and went uh, went off stage and started giving interviews, which I love. <laughs> and uh, that's it. It's work, work, work all the time. How were you uh, approached to uh, sing this song for Israel this year? Because you didn't have your national final this year as not yeah, a we big had, one. Uh, well, yeah. you, yes, but you had a song selection show, but not with different artists. Yeah, you and, and also songs. we had a very short amount of time to do everything. We had to choose three songs among hundreds of songs that came from the public, that the public wrote. And uh, we chose three songs and then we had one week to produce them and record them on the highest level. One week, That's the three uh, songs. Pretty and intensive. Right? Very intensive. And then the next week we had to shoot three video clips in one week, which was an amazing experience. And then uh, they were released. And uh, we had five days of wait to see what the public uh, what the public chooses and they chose Sing Heart and I was thrilled, I was very happy even though I loved all three songs but uh, Well I was thought, going to uh, say you were involved in the selection process Yeah, the, the songs, selection, so the production Obviously all the songs that you perform you like them otherwise you wouldn't have chosen them Yeah, the but there place. is a one more suitable uh, always when, when we heard the three songs finished for the first time we were with the crew inside the studio and we listened to Same Heart and the eyes started traveling around the room everyone was looking at everyone and, uh, and there was a feeling like um, this is the th one. This, this yeah. song should should go. And uh, Let, let's go back a bit. How, how did you start in the, in the music business? Did you family musical? Uh, no, no. I've been told by my family that I started whistling melodies in my crib when I was eight uh, eight months old. Oh. <laughs> um, they say I was born to sing. I I never felt like it was my choice to deal with music. I I always felt that music chose me. Uh, I always had music around me, and I loved it. Um. <laughs> Your music career you started out really as a rock singer, basically. I think. Yeah, it started even before I was in. Uh, I was in uh, young groups of musical productions uh, in my hometown. Uh -huh. I did musicals, and then I discovered rock and roll. Obviously, uh, when I turned 14, 15, um, and I found a home there. I found a solid ground with rock and roll. And years went by and I've done so many clubs and bars and stages as a rock singer, even though um, I have a lot of passions in music, not only rock and roll, which represents something that kicks you in the stomach when you hear it, for me. That's the kind of music I love. 2009 you did a TV talent show in Israel. Yeah, I did. Was that, uh, did that mark a change in your career then, away from rock music? Or? Uh, no, I think uh, all the choices in the in the show were mine, music-wise and production-wise as well. Uh, it gave me an amazing stage on the Israeli TV network. I uh, became very well known after after the show, and I've learned. I always say I've learned how to reach the audience through the camera lens, <laughs> which is the the main thing I've learned on the show. It's going to do me well in the Eurovision. Well, I yes, hope. you do need to work the camera if you're on the Eurovision <laughs> yeah, Song exactly. Contest because uh, 
it's such a big stage, so yeah. you've got to interact with the viewers rather than the people who are in the audience in the arena. That's exactly. uh, often forgotten, I think, by <laughs> the people who watch it in the arena. Um, you've diversified because you, you're into musical theatre as well, although you did touch on the fact that you did that when you were much younger yeah, as well. So it I was guess my, that my, my you, life yeah. dream as well. That was my dream, but somehow, you know, life changes the path that you walk uh -huh. in and I became a rock singer and uh, an underground rock singer and then I became a more uh, mainstream singer and my long life dream was to do musical theatre and I'm so blessed that after right after the show I got an offer from the Kamari Theatre which is the biggest theatre in Israel, an award winning, uh, Israel award winning theatre uh, to join a big production and since then uh, I'm, in the I'm a theatre actress. And, and I think uh, you're an award winner for doing that too, I think. E yes. yes. So uh, many congratulations Thank you. Now as well as having a musical career, of course you're also a mum as well. Yeah. You had a daughter and well, she'd be what? Was she three? Two and a half. Two and a half. So yeah. getting off the Two and a half so. little princess. So uh, how does it feel having to leave her at home and come to Terrible. Do this? <laughs> <laughs> the most, the, the hardest Agonizing, thing, the I hardest guess. thing I had to do in my life. And I had to do some, some hard things in my life. That's the hardest. But she's happy. She's, uh, she's with my mom and dad and she didn't even notice we're gone. Yeah. She's she getting so many presents and so much attention from the spoiled. family. Yes, yes. Yeah, for so. me it's more difficult <laughs> than for her. So on Thursday she'll be in front of the television. She'll be watching in front of the television. Of course. Yes, okay. Yeah, she would love it. Excellent. Well, we wish you all the best. Thank you ever so Thank much you. for talking to us Thank this you. afternoon. It's been a great pleasure to meet you, and uh, we wish you all the best for the contest on Thursday, and we hope to see you next Saturday. Hopefully, thank you so much. Thanks very much for talking. <laughs> thank you.